I think I compete against the greatest competitor in life when I jump, and that mm. competitor is death. Mm. And when he beats you, you don't come back for any rematch. There was a, a two-year period when men on motorbikes jumping over buses or canyons was considered the most exciting thing going. And it would be front-page headlines. If, if you know, another bus was added by whoever it was, people would say, no, he can't jump 21 buses. He's jumped 22. Well, what he told me, Egon Knievel, as he looked down this ramp now, what he told me is you, you hang on, you, you get the right speed, and then you really will the bike over those 13 buses. We went down to Wembley. It was a bank holiday Monday. Evil was going to do his jump live, uh, you know, obviously live in front of the audience, but live on telly as well. And the place was at over 100,000 people. And you have to say that was the power of world of sport. And here he goes. It's full speed, and he's rising up the ramp now. And he's made it, no, he's crashed on the run-in. He's crashed on, I said that that was the point where he would have the trouble. And of course our version of Evil Knievel was Eddie Kidd, who was this kind of beautiful boy, great sort of pin-up, and he started to do these stunts as well. We'd seen Evil Knievel, uh, who obviously was incredibly American, and then when you saw Eddie's attempts at doing it, he, uh, he was very English. This is it, I'm going there. Oh, well done. You're sti sticking one. with that bike. You're satisfied with the bike yeah, now? Yes, great. Lovely. All the luck in the world. Thank you very much. Eddie Kidd. <laughs> Got to get it up to 70, 75 mile an hour. The crowd are all cheering. Let's hope there's no trouble in. And there he goes. He's forward too much. No, what a fantastic jump. That must be the world record of all time. There was one Eddie Kidd where he jumped over a load, load of buses and made the jump but then sort of came off at the end. And Eddie Kidd, the London Kidd, is going to try and beat the Evil Knievel record. He's got to get it at full power at the 17-foot takeoff, and I think he's made it! He's done it! He's done it clean and so simply, and he's rushed in and he's into the ditch at the bottom There's there. lots of blokes in white coats who look like scientists. They're obviously not doctors of physics, because at one point they hold <laughs> up a blanket to try and stop a motorbike that's going at about 70 mile an hour. One bloke, I mean, he absolutely span into the air. It was, fa I have to say, it was fantastic. I reckon he could have cleared the buzzes himself. I think he was all right, I, I'm sure. If you're watching, mate, you know, it was worth it, believe me.